Hi, I'm Meredith Plummer, and welcome to my Storytime Studio. Once, there was a monkey who lived high up in the trees. He didn't particularly dislike his life, but he didn't particularly like it either. Then one day, he heard a woman walking along and singing a song. She was carrying a great big bowl of something until <gasps> she tripped and it fell. The bowl shattered and the liquid inside went everywhere. Oh, misery, she said. So much misery, Papa God, why? But there was nothing to be done with it, so she went on. The monkey, on the other hand, was quite curious. He had never heard of misery. So he came down from his tree and took a taste of the liquid. It was sweet like honey, mm, he thought. He gobbled it all up and then said, Papa God, mm, please give me more misery. Please, please. Confused by this, Papa God looked down. Are you sure, monkey? Are you sure you want more misery? Yes, said monkey, please. All right, said Papa God. He gave monkey a sack, told monkey to take that sack to the edge of the trees and beyond. And once he got to a big wide place where there were no trees at all, open that sack. Monkey obeyed. It took quite a while to get to a place where there were no trees, but eventually he made it. However, when he opened the backpack, sweet liquid wasn't inside. No, instead there were dogs. Hungry, snarling, fearsome dogs. Monkey ran, and he ran, and he ran, until finally he got to the tree line and crumbled up a tree. He was safe. At last, why, Papa God, he asked, why, why give me dogs? Papa God just chuckled. Oh, monkey, he said, don't you know, you have to be careful what you ask for. No one deserves that much misery. It's hard to appreciate the things in your life when you're around them every day. Today, I want you to look around your room, think about the people and the things in your life, and find one thing that you don't appreciate like you should. If it's a person, tell that person you appreciate them. If it's an object, tell a family member or a friend what it is. Or, if you're feeling brave enough, log on to Facebook and tell us at the First Unitarian Church of Cincinnati. Hashtag appreciation.